welcome to the module on building leadership capabilities once again. In the previous two sessions, we have dealt with an introduction to what this building capabilities is and then we also talked about the importance of leadership in the context of engineering and engineers. Today we are going to talk about the meaning of leadership. From now on, there are certain topics which we are going to cover in the present module over a few days. We will be talking about the meaning of leadership, we will be talking about processes involved in leadership and the functions of the leader as such. Before we go into the meaning and functions of leaders and leadership, shall we do a small activity? I will ask you a few questions. Think for yourselves and try to answer for yourselves. What do you remember when you think about a leader who according to you is most successful? List out three important leaders that you can recall now. What makes each of them occupy your memory as important leaders? What is common or are common among those that made them important to you as leaders. You might be having certain answers for yourselves. Now with that background, let us move on to discussion related to what is leadership. Very commonly we hear certain statements related to leadership. Let us just quickly have a glance at what these commonly heard statements are. It is said that leadership is the art of motivating a group of people to act towards achieving a common goal. Leader is said to be an inspiration and director of the action. He is the person in the group who possesses the combination of personality and skills that make others want to follow, that is important, want to follow his or her direction. Now let us come down to the definition and meanings that several theorists and several researchers have talked about in the context of leadership. Have a look at them. One definition says, at the core of most definitions of leadership are two functions. It talks about functions over here. Providing direction, it is already marked in red and exercising influence. Providing direction, exercising influence, both these are considered to be very important according to the definition of these researchers. Another set of researchers say, leadership is the influential increment, here they have used the term increment over and above mechanical compliance with the routine directives of the organization. See how the position and the leadership are being interpreted by different researchers and different theorists in different ways. One more definition says, leadership is the process of influencing the activities of an organized group. Here it is the activities of an organized group and the key word here is influencing. And influencing the activities of an organized group toward goal achievement. Goal achievement is the important term over here. Again, there are other theorists who say that leadership is the ability of an individual to motivate others to forego self-interest in the interest of a collective vision and to contribute to the attainment of that vision and to the collective by making significant personal self-sacrifices over and above the call of duty willingly. What is expected out of the leader is what has been described over here. Another definition which is broad enough defines leadership as once again influence process affecting the interpretation of events for followers. Interpretation is important over here. Interpretation of events for followers, the choice of objectives for the group or organization the organization of work activities to accomplish these objectives, the motivation of the followers to achieve the objectives, the maintenance of cooperative relationships and teamwork and the enlistment of support and cooperation from people outside the group or organization. It is a broad definition that has been given. Again, more recent definitions, the ability to influence, motivate and enable others 
to contribute to the effectiveness and success of the organizations of which they are members. This is one of the recent definitions. The ability to influence a group toward the achievement of a vision or set of goals is yet another definition. One more interpretation says, besides influence, leadership has been defined in terms of group processes, personality and compliance particular behavior and compliance particular behavior, persuasion, power, goal achievement and interaction, role differentiation, initiation of structure and a combination of two or more of these. You see that increasingly the role of a leadership is expanding. There are more and more elements which are being added in terms of defining what is leadership. Now once again we will come back to the engineering context. Why leadership skills for engineers? Leadership essentially involves people skills, being able to manage people. Now the most effective engineering pioneers develop a blend of both technical and people skills putting together the hard and soft skills that we have been talking about in our earlier discussions. They use this combination to lead projects, to drive innovation and to influence others in an engineering role or similar technical role. So a combination of all these is aimed at achieving multiple objectives. Coming to the life skills for an engineer more so for a leader. What are the life skills essential for an engineer leader? A combination of engineer and a leader together. In the preceding discussions that we have had so far, we have seen the importance of life skills necessary for engineers. We have talked about it quite extensively. Now when these life skills are integrated and effectively used, then they will help them becoming authentic leaders. Some of the skills that may be useful in this context for a leader may be modeling ethical behavior and hard work, enhancing interpersonal skills consistently, holistic understanding and innovative thinking. These in combination may be helpful. In addition to that, the technical skills that an engineer's job requires are really small percentage of competencies. While technical skills are important, the present research says that in addition to the technical skills, there have to be soft skills. So the percentage of competencies related to technical skills when they are leaders are not sufficient. In order to be more successful, they need more competencies. Interpersonal competencies, for example, let us look at them. Interpersonal competencies, business acumen, leadership skills are all required together in an engineering work. As engineers advance in their profession, as they move forward in their ladder of progression, leadership competencies become more and more important. That does not mean they are not required at the beginning of their career. At every phase in their career, leadership skills are important. So regardless of whether they are on the management track or not, leadership skills become important at every phase of their career. At this point, I would like to give you a small activity of reading. Please visit the site which is being displayed on the slide and have some reading about how and why engineers make great leaders or certain articles relating to engineers, great engineers and great leaders that would be of interest to you as engineering graduates. So students today we have discussed extensively on this day 3 about the meaning of leadership as it has been described by several researchers, several theorists in several contexts. More so, we have also seen how in the context of an engineering student and an engineer, we have also seen how in the context of engineering profession, leadership is important and has a very relevant meaning. Thank you for being with us today and we will meet again for another session, this time on day 4 session, we are going to talk about the process of leadership and the functions of leaders. Thank you once again.